Hello and welcome back to another very special episode of World Traveler Cooking. Today we're going to make one of Denmark's uh, sort of most notorious dishes, Stekfest med, uh, med uh, parsley sauce. Uh, I'm totally butchering the name. Um, it's very hard to speak Danish, uh, and I haven't really mastered that yet. But this is, uh, Stekfest means fried pork. Um, and of course, the other part means parsley sauce. So fried pork with parsley sauce. These are slices of um, crispy, usually crispy pork belly, cooked with, uh, served with potatoes uh, in a cream uh, milk uh, and parsley sauce. Although cream is very optional and I'm not using it today. So the ingredients in this are pretty simple. Uh, in addition, uh, I will have salt and pepper to taste and a little bit of nutmeg, so be prepared to watch for that. Um, I have, I'm cooking for four today, so I'm actually going to do this. Um, I have um, almost a kilogram of sliced pork belly, and I have this sliced to between 500 and, uh, sorry, yeah, between five and ten milliliters, sorry, mill, millimeters thick, so half to one centimeter thick. These seem like they're more like a centimeter thick, so they're on the thicker side, so they probably won't be as crispy. Uh, you want to, you can also get them thinner. Uh, a lot of people slice their own uh, from a pork belly. Let's have a kilogram of potatoes. Now, traditionally, these should be young potatoes. They will cook faster. These ones are older potatoes, so they'll cook slower. I will put them in much, much earlier. Um, then the sauce, in this case, will be some butter, some milk, some flour, parsley, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. It's really all there is to it, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have set the uh, potatoes on to boil first. Um, normally, if I had young potatoes, I would wait and put these on after uh, the pork had been in for a bit, but these are gonna take a bit longer, so I'm starting them now. So first, we will salt these. Um, it would be good to use a, like a flakier sea salt, but I'm gonna use what I have here. Did not need that much to get right there. And then I'm going to put these in the oven. I expect them to take like 30 minutes, maybe longer, but we'll be back in 30 minutes and see how they're doing. <clears throat> so my oven is perhaps not as hot as some, uh, so this was uh, closer to an hour. Now we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes while I make the sauce. And as it cools down, it may crisp up a little bit. For the sauce, I'm going to go ahead and start melting my butter. 28 grams of butter to three tablespoons or so of flour. And then I'll whisk that together to make a roux. Um, and then we'll basically make something like a bechamel sauce with lots of parsley. So once... Um, once the butter is fully melted, I'll be back to stir in the flour. All right, so the butter is melted. So let's whisk in the flour. And we're gonna let this cook for a minute or so until it's nicely bubbling, but we don't wanna brown it. And I think it's bubbling. So, very quickly in this, we will start uh, pouring in our milk. So, a bit at a time. I have a, one on bechamel sauces. Um, this is sort of like diluting this down just a little bit. Okay. 
You'll get something kind of like a dough at first. And we expect to use about a third of a liter of milk. So. Basically get it down to your desired thickness. If you like it thicker, you can add more butter and flour and less milk. If you like it thinner, then maybe add some more milk. See, that's still pretty nice and thick. I'm not sure I want to go much thinner than this. And then I let it boil and thicken up a little bit. And then I'll see if I want to add a little more. I probably will want to add a little more because I usually find that I don't add quite enough. So, I will do that. And when I've gotten through about a third of my um, milk, I'll be back. So I've added my uh, milk. Now I'm going to add a bit of salt to salt this down a little bit. Remember, this is going to go on the potatoes, so it's good to get it nicely seasoned. Bit of pepper, however much you like. Oh, actually, I'll probably save that for a little bit later. Let me add some nutmeg next. Yeah, this is nice and thick. So, a bit of nutmeg. Sort of however much you want, doesn't need a lot. We're not making like a holiday dessert here. Now let's stir this in. And next up, we will add our parsley. So I have about 30 grams of parsley here. So you can see that's quite a lot in that little pan, soft pan. So now we're going to whisk this in. And you can see how very quickly we definitely have a parsley sauce. Now that it's off the heat, let's season it with however much black pepper you like. You can be generous. This good again, and then we can taste and I think that's good. You can adjust the salt here if you need to. So next up, I'm gonna serve myself some of this, and then we can do the taste test. So what I've done here is I've just put a little bit of parsley on top of the parsley sauce. This would obviously be really great with a little side salad or something like that, but I'm not going to do that for the taste test. So I'm going to do a little bit of um, photography, then I'll be back for the taste test, and uh, yeah. And now for the taste test. I'm a little nervous about the skin here because I'm not quite sure how that came out. So I may try that in a moment, but I'm going to try the pork here. Hmm. I didn't expect a crunch, but there's definitely one. This might have needed a little more um, salt. I'm having a little trouble cutting through the skin. I don't know if this means it's totally inedible, but let's find out. The skin is a little hard to eat. Actually, it's not too bad. This is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, pork's really nice. Now let's go ahead and try the um, potatoes with the um, parsley sauce. I'm going to take this piece of parsley off. Wow, that's that's delicious. 
and I got about the right amount of um, got about the right amount of um, milk in it too. Um, there are layers of flavor on here with parsley, the nutmeg, the salt and pepper. It's really, really, really nice. Um, really like it. Definitely going to make this again. At any rate, if you like this content, you find it interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I can also see, actually, I just got sidetracked with another thought here. I can definitely see why this is sort of Denmark's national dish. It's um, really, really comforting. I really like this. It's sort of like the ultimate comfort food. So if you like this content and you find it interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have anything to say about this video, please let me know in the comments, including if you make a dish like this and you do it a little differently. There are a few different ways you can make this dish. I chose a simple one. Um, other people may do it a little more complex ways, so let's share uh, the ways we do it. At any rate, recipes in the description. Bon appetit, and see you next week.